It is the 20th of the 11th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Day 985. Any news? The Horse and Pony Show continues. Associated Press. Melted fuel is 12 inches from entering ground after eating through concrete, says simulation. We all know how these simulations work, right? Study. Molten core suspected of eroding through concrete foundation. Government expert. We just can't be sure until they actually, until actually seeing inside. And they'll never be able to see inside. This stuff is so radioactive. Uh, maybe in a couple hundred million years. Fukushima reactor designer, I doubt plant can be decommissioned, perhaps can close it in cement. Here we go. You want to just cap it and walk away. Nuclear professor, solution is to pour concrete all over. But now it's too late. And I agree with this nuclear professor. Because by putting concrete and sarcophagus over the top of these uh, three confirmed nuclear meltdowns, you are just capping a broken bottle. The vessel is broken from underneath and in the environment. Work at Fukushima plant to go on for 10,000 years? Question mark. Nuclear expert, it's longer than human history. Well, the human history we know about anyway. But 10,000 years? Understatement. You're undershooting it, boys. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. Nuclear professor, yes, worry about what they're doing at Fukushima. There's good reason. One mistake from disaster. Government has lost the public trust. I don't believe them either. Another quake to be the final blow for Japan. And here I go, they're continuing with the, the fuel pool scare on number four. When we all know it's already drained and burned several times. Arnie Gunderstein coming in with the fuel turn of number four fuel pool. Uh, tornado hits U.S. nuclear facility. Uranium enrichment building damage. Parts of the cooling tower were destroyed. Now, um, one of the plants foreign uh, hits Paducah plant on Sunday in Kentucky. Now, if you don't know about the Paducah processing plant in Kentucky, it's been going on since the 50s. Very, very dirty place. Uh, not to mention the asbestos and all the things that they can't find because they've been hiding things since the 50s in this place. Um, I will attach some links to some very in interesting information on Paducah itself. Um, they're saying there was no release of hazardous materials. They neglected to say um, nuclear fallout. Um, there's all kinds of crazy things going on out of Paducah. So uh, heads up on that for sure. And again, we'll never get a straight answer um, unless we dig it up ourselves. So if you find anything um, on anything, uh, remember with Google+, Plus, you can now attach, attach links on the comments. So I would encourage you to attach all the links to all the stories you find on my comment box. And that way we can kind of collect, uh, see what's going on from day to day. And uh, as we go back through history, what happened here and then. And uh, we can all kind of have a little, you know, link away. As long as the links still work, you know, what do we do? Magnitude 5.7 quake jolts eastern Japan Tuesday morning. Almost 200 miles deep, expert, big danger is water suddenly draining from Fukushima Uni 4. Yeah, that's a big risk, and it's already happened. Alaska, 28% of polar bears with skin lesions and hair loss. 28%, and I'm sure these are government numbers. Thyroids tested by government, like symptoms in seals and walrus. Surprisingly high mortality of musk, musk ox, weakened immune system suspected. Now what, what would weaken all their immune systems so quickly? I wonder. High rate of embryo deaths and bad eggs for geese. 
Now on the Oregon Coast website, they're giving out warnings about please don't feed the starving brown pelicans and the six seals there and all the things going on with the, the crabs washing up and that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of crazy things going on on the Pacific Northwest of the United States and Canada. It's all splashing up to the coast and here we are dealing with it. You gotta remember where our rain comes from. Where does our rain come from? <sighs> Everyone in the world will be safer if fuel rods transferred from Fukushima number four. Global concern over removal process and again Everybody look at number four, everybody look at four, uh, don't mind one, two, or three. And more and more stories on that. Honestly, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I've missed anything, please attach your links in the comment box below, because we can do that now. And uh, we'll roll that way for a while. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.